everyone, thanks for tuning in to Evan Max Tying Tuesdays. Today we're going to show you how to tie a very popular pattern lately. This is called the Foam Back Emerger. Uh, we've heard a lot about it, people coming into the store, so we thought we'd show you how to tie it. It's a pretty simple pattern. It's got a few materials included in it though. Uh, we're going to start it off with a nice hook here. This is the TMCO 2488H. This is a great emerger scud hook. Uh, it's a heavy hook and it's also got that nice scud profile to it. We're going to use on our body here is a size 16 aught. I'm doing a pretty small pattern here because we're going to take advantage of a, a special bead. So this is the 16 aught brown in A11 from Vivas. We're going to rib our fly with this UTC. This is their small brown color. And then we'll put on a little bit of a thorax using Dave Whitlock's synthetic fiber here. This is his brown stone nymph color. Um, the emerger part, the foam that we're adding to it is just this two mil hairline tires foam for our uh, wing buds. And then finally on the top, that special bead that I was talking about is this coffee 1 16th size tungsten bead. So let's check it out. All right, so we're doing this one in a size 20 today. We wanted to show you these uh, tungsten beads that we got from MFC. This is the coffee color. They, they make them in a 1 16th, which is really nice because you can keep a tungsten bead on your size 20s, 22s, 24s. Um, whereas, you know, it's kind of hard to find those 1 16ths and you're usually stuck to brass. So that's kind of nice there. And I'm just going to start right behind it with my brown 16 odd Vivas thread here. Clip off the excess. And then we'll come right back around with a little bit of that small brown wire, kind of keeping everything a little subdued, kind of natural colors with this foam back emerger here. So we're going to tie that in right on the side of the fly here and take our thread back. Just passed and around the, the hook band, give our fly a little bit of a curved nature to it, the illusion of movement, just like so. And then we'll bring our thread nice and clean. So that's our main body right up back to the bead. I'm just gonna half hitch it real fast here. And we'll rib out our fly. So we'll counter wrap it and just open Palmer four, maybe five times up to the bead there. If you go any smaller, you might want to step down to the extra small wire. The small wire works pretty well for this size 20. And we'll spin it off and then prepare to tie in our wing bud here. This is the two millimeter foam, the white foam that we have. And I've just prepared a nice little sliver of it for this tiny little fly. And we'll tie it in. I'll probably trim it down even further, but tie it in right behind the bead here and secure it on top of the hook. Just like so. And then I'm going to come back in. Doesn't have to be too clean yet because we're going to dub over that a little bit. But we'll clip off our excess just so you have a nice little wing bud. Been hearing a lot lately here in. In the Denver metro area, people are fishing this on the South Platte and having really good success with it in the smaller sizes, which if you're familiar with the South Platte is very necessary this time of year and in the cold winter months. Uh, but I'm sure it's effective fly in many different fisheries where there's a good healthy midge population. So from there, we're just gonna dub in that Whitlock synthetic SLF dubbing here. This is the brown nymph. Just a real small noodle to dub over our foam. Give ourselves a nice thorax to this fly. So once we have that kind of all in place here, we'll just do a quick three turn whip finish. are good to go fishing it. I'll probably add a little bit of zappy gap. I'm super glued to this just to add a little bit of durability. I am using these Loon arrow point scissors on these small patterns. I find it really helpful to get up close and trim in there. Trim your thread out and whatever else you got going on. There's a nice foam back emerger for you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have a fly you'd like to see us tie in the future, leave us a comment below. 
For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.